Hello everyone. We've all been through that rough patch of 15-16 uh, months through the pandemic. And now we are in 2021. Things are not the same. There was a pre-COVID era and now there's a post-COVID era. So is working abroad still worth it in 2021? I'm neither talking about working in a particular country like Canada, US, UK, Dubai, nor I'm talking about getting the permanent residency, working after studies or maybe on a work permit. I'm just talking in general. I'm just talking about working abroad. Is it still worth it in 2021 or not? We will talk about the pros and the cons. If you're interested, stay tuned. Apart from YouTube, I work full time in IT and I have more than 10 years of experience, half of which is in India and half of which is in uh, UK and Canada, mostly in Canada. So the points that I'm going to talk about are mostly through my experiences and I really hope that those will be helpful for you as well. So starting with the first point, the monetary factor. When we work abroad, most of us actually earn more money and probably that's the most lucrative factor of working abroad. Now, whether you're working in Dubai, where you don't have to pay the income tax, or you're working in US, Canada, um, maybe Australia, or UK, you actually earn in pounds or dollars, and obviously, you tend to save a lot of that money that you earn as well. Especially in our 20s or so, when we are single, when we work abroad, we live in a shared space, maybe in an apartment, we share a lot of uh, bills, maybe internet bill, electricity bill. So then generally people save more money and obviously when you have money in your account, it gives you a lot of freedom. I remember when I was in UK, just for one year though, I came back with around 14 lakh rupees in my account. That was a good amount of saving and that actually helped me move to Canada. I did not take any monetary help from my parents or relatives. So that money which I saved from working in UK actually helped me a lot. And same applies for any of you as well. If you're able to save a good amount of money, that will definitely help you. Maybe you want to uh, take a break from your work. Maybe you want to switch your career. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to buy a home. Whatever you want to do, if you save a good amount of money in a small period of time, then definitely that helps. So yes, that's definitely a pro when you work abroad you maybe earn in dollars and you save a lot of money. But now it's 2021, it's the post COVID era. Most of my friends who used to live in Bangalore, in Gurgaon, uh, who used to rent a place for themselves, now are living in their hometowns and actually are saving like 50, 60,000 extra every month. So the amount that you will save working abroad versus what you will save working in your home country, the difference is actually reduced, but still, there's a slight edge, you can earn more while you are living and working abroad. Okay, now the next point, which is about staying away from your family and friends and that feeling of homesickness. Although there are very few disadvantages of working abroad and this is probably the most strongest of them. Yes, homesickness does exist, especially when you're working and living abroad because it is very difficult to travel to your home country because of the various commitments, maybe the work commitments, maybe your uh, kid is studying in school, maybe your spouse is also working, so you have to match the leaves. All those things tangled together makes your trip back home very difficult. Taking India as reference, if you're working and living in countries like Canada and US, it would take almost one day for you to reach uh, your home country. So it was very difficult, especially during these times of COVID when uh, there are bans, restrictions, international travel, doing it often is almost next to impossible for a normal person like us. Talking personally about myself, when I used to work in Delhi NCR, I used to travel to my hometown Kanpur every month. But now it has been two and a half years I haven't met my parents thanks to COVID. I've desperately tried to plan their trip to Canada or my trip to India, but sometimes the COVID cases, some variants, uh, vaccination, uh, travel restrictions, all of this thing has happened and my plans have got cancelled four times. So it is very difficult, um, especially during these COVID times, you will definitely feel homesick. 
and this is definitely one of those uh, disadvantages which is actually amplified during these COVID times. And also the food. Yes, many people actually miss their local food. Maybe the street food, maybe the ingredients that you put in your food while you cook. Something or the other would always be missing while you're living and working abroad. But yes, that is still manageable and kind of negligible when it comes to the various pros or the advantages of living and working abroad. Now, we are not living in 1990s anymore. We are in 2021 and thankfully we've got mobiles, smartphones. So we can actually call our families, we can do video calling, but sometimes they are not available online, especially your old parents or maybe your relatives. So let me share a life hack with you on how to call your home country at a fraction of the cost. Fortunately, I found a great app, Yola. Through this app, you can actually call your home country, any mobile or landline number, you can pick that number, you can call that number, and that is all at a fraction of a cost, very cheap. I've used other calling apps as well. My friends and relatives told me that they used to get unknown number in the mobile when I was calling. Thankfully, through Yola, they always get my phone number so they know that I am calling and they obviously never miss my call. So if you're just like me, you can actually use this Yola app. You can download it from the link given in the description box below. If you put the promo code DREAMABROAD, you'll also get a pleasant bonus. So now you can stay in touch with your loved ones even when they're away and they're offline. Download the app now. All right, now talking about the next point, which is travel. Travel is something that sets you free. With more countries, easing travel restrictions for international travelers, if you're living abroad, you have that great option of traveling to nearby countries because you're earning good and most probably you'll also get the visa pretty easily as well if you need one. Let's say if you're working in Singapore, access to Malaysia, Thailand, even Australia becomes very easy. If you're working in Dubai, all the Middle Eastern countries, if you're working in UK, all the uh, European countries, if you're working in US, access to Canada or vice versa becomes very easy for you. And yes, this is probably one of the greatest reasons I want to live abroad because I want to travel around the world. While I was living in uh, UK, I traveled to 14 countries. Now I've traveled to more than 15 countries and obviously this has made a huge impact in my life. If you are actually able to work abroad, you would get access to many more countries around that region and obviously you'll be able to travel more and definitely that would help you in your personal growth as well. Many of my friends in India who are earning good used to say that we would definitely plan one trip abroad every year uh, but somehow you know that's not possible you somehow get tangled in all the all what's happening around in your life and maybe you will plan a trip to Goa or maybe some hill station but traveling a trip abroad is definitely not easy then once you start working and living abroad because you're earning good and access to all those various countries also becomes easier so you tend to travel more if you definitely have that knack of traveling inside you Okay, now the next point, it has got to be the improvement in your personality and the change in your thinking. There are many things happening around the world, good and bad. You've got to experience it. If you're living in one country, maybe you were uh, born there, you were brought up there and you're working also there, uh, you don't get to experience all of that what is happening around the world. You would certainly agree that uh, anyone who is actually working, let's say in a small town, uh, versus who's working in uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, their personality would also be different. Similarly, if someone who's just working in Delhi and someone who's uh, been working in New York or maybe let's say Toronto or London or uh, Sydney, their personality would certainly be different as well. Depending from person to person, this difference in the personality might be huge. There's also a great difference in the working culture of different places. For example, if you're working in an IT company in India, maybe you would see that uh, people generally come to office around nine o'clock, 10 o'clock or sometimes even more late and they also leave late. So uh, they work until 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m. or sometimes even more late. But you would 
experience a totally different thing in uh, Western countries, in countries like Canada, US. People come to office very early in the morning, even uh, during the work from home times. Uh, they actually log in pretty early in the morning, maybe uh, 8 a.m., 7.30, or even before seven o'clock and they also log off uh, pretty early as well at 3 30 4 o'clock they log off and they do not log in log in again uh, they the work-life balance in uh, these western countries is phenomenal so obviously you gotta experience all of that uh, but when you're working in India versus when you're working abroad there's a great difference so you gotta experience all of that those all things actually groom your personality as well. When you work and live abroad, your thinking also changes a lot. I can give you my personal example. When I was uh, living in India, I thought that I'll go out. Uh, I was getting this opportunity to work in uh, London for one year. So that I'll come back to India, get married, get settled, uh, live happily ever after. But my thinking actually got changed. I thought that no, I want to live abroad forever. So that one year living in UK actually changed my thinking so much that my life changed entirely forever. This is one big example. There are other small examples as well. Like I used to just throw anything out of my uh, car window without thinking too much uh, while I was in India. But when I went back to India after spending one year in UK, my thinking was totally different. I used to actually, um, you know, save that all of that garbage, any wrapper, anything. Uh, somewhere in my car and then dump it in the dustbin obviously because your thinking grows another small but great example of a change of habit for good in london you'll always find that people when uh, traveling they always stand on the right on the escalators in canada also people don't do it in india people don't do it but i got that habit from um, london that i always stand on the right on the escalators so that other people can pass small things like these actually make you a better person small small things like these actually improve your personality though there are many other points that i can talk about but this video has been long enough so i want to talk about this very important point towards the last of this video when you live abroad not just your thinking and personality improves but it also boosts your confidence a lot now, when you're traveling from here and there, you won't hesitate. Your communication skills would be better, much better than what they used to be before. I remember initially when I used to go to any store, I would think in my mind that what I have to talk about, what I have to ask uh, there uh, in the store. But now it's not the case anymore. I reach out to any person and just talk fluently. I know that I would be able to communicate what I want to communicate. I don't know any language apart from English and Hindi, but I'm so confident now that I can go anywhere in the world and live there for a week or 10 days without any problems. And it would actually be fun if I go to such a place where there's nobody who speaks Hindi or English. It would be fun. So that's the confidence that you actually get uh, while you live and work abroad. While working in India, in the IT corporate world, I do not remember talking to my colleagues actually in English too much. Or maybe it was very rare when we used to talk in English. Generally, we would communicate in the local language, which was Hindi in my case. But while you're working abroad, most of the people around you would be speaking English. So that would also boost your communication skills as well. All right guys, so in a nutshell, there are many, many advantages or merits of living and working abroad uh, that we talked about in this video, but there are not many disadvantages or uh, demerits of uh, living and working abroad. Yes, you would certainly miss your family and you might miss your food if you're vegetarian, but if you weigh both of these things, most of you might feel that uh, the advantages are way more than the disadvantages. So I would say that it is totally worth it to uh, work abroad, even in 2021, even in the post-COVID era. What do you think? Do you agree with what I have to say? If yes, please put it down in the comment section below. And yes, even if you disagree, please let me know your points, your experiences. And also do not forget to click the subscribe button. I know many of you actually watch the videos, but do not subscribe. I don't know the reason why. Please click the subscribe button. It's very, very important. Thanks a lot for watching this video.